Is it possible to open a SQLite database from within Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio? Is there a way to open a DB file, SQLite database file, from within Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio? Right now we have a process that will grab the data from a Microsoft SQL Server database and put it into a SQLite database file that will be used by an application later on. Is there a way to open the SQLite database file so that it can be compared to the data inside the SQL Server database? Using only one SQL query? Is there a plugin for Microsoft SQL Management Studio? Or maybe there is another way to do the same task using only one query. Right now we have to write two scripts. One for SQL Server Database and one for SQLite Database, then take the output from each in the same format and put them each in their own OpenOffice spreadsheet file. Finally, we compare the two files to see if there are any differences. Perhaps there's a better way to do this. Edit, the table columns and layouts are different so using the combo of this URL and this URL will not work here. P.S. A lot of applications use SQLite internally, well-known users of SQLite. Hi yes it is possible to open any SQL Server from within Management Studio when you have the correct OAP driver to do so. Create an OAP connection to the DB3 file and call it something like SQLite then try this as a query window. Needs to be a system OAP connection not user. This is how you get the data, you can create views using this SQL as well if you like. Select from Open Query SQLite, select from TBL underscore postcode. The app is asking for a way to query between DBS and so I understand the linked server responses. However, if you're here because you simply want to open an SQLite DB with MSSMS, it's a lot easier than that. Call me lazy. But all of these answers are kind of laborious and are require things you may not want to do, have access to do in every case, or are just the wrong thing to do if all you are looking for is something better than DB browser for SQLite such as MSSMS. Just use this, school server compact Gleedy toolbox for sims. This URL. Open the compact toolbox. Add a connection. Browse to the file. If you cannot install a system DNS, then the following step should work. Install SQLite OBC driver from CH. Warner, both 32 and 64 bit. In the window enter. Linked server, example, or anything. Provider. Microsoft Old DB Provider for OBC Drivers Product Name, Example, or Anything Provider String, Driver equals SQLite 3 OBC Driver, Database equals full slash path slash to slash DB
You should now be able to query the SQLite DB with. As mentioned above. Taking the instructions from MapleMail's answer and Daniel Henry's comment, I've put together a 2021 guide, SSMS 18.8 as of writing, on how to achieve such a task. You first need to download the new SQLite and SQL Server Compact Toolbox from Eric which works with Versus 2017 and AMP 2019, which the newer SSMS is built on. You can install this onto your Versus if you so desire, but we're here for SSMS. To quote from Daniel Henry, Open, percent program files x86% backslash Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18 backslash common 7 backslash i backslash extensions, in File Explorer. Create a new directory named SQLSI Toolbox. Download the dot .6 from the Visual Studio Marketplace. Open it in your favorite archiver, 7-zip, WinRAR, etc. Extract the contents into the directory created in step 2. Note, if you get an access is denied error when extracting the contents, then extract the dot .6 contents into a temporary folder the archiver can extract to. Finally, copy the files into the new directory created in step 2. Now you can find this extension in two locations within SSMS as shown below. Just to complete this answer, you'll want to add the SQLite connection. Finally, Go find your SQLite database file under these formats. DB DB3 SQLite SQLite3 DAT MDB under all files dot in the file explorer. Please don't forget to click on the close button at the bottom to add your database file instead of clicking on the red X button at the top right. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.